These are five tips that could be the difference of breaking 100 for the first time, breaking 90, or even, hopefully, breaking 80. We're gonna start the tee, we're gonna play the 15th hole here. Let's get into it. Let's start from the tee. Now, we all love bashing driver as hard as we can, but these things can get us in a lot more trouble than they're worth. So, my advice to you right here is, is find a fairway finder. Now think about this logically. You've got five gears in your car, your fairway finder is gonna be in gear three. And a great way to find that is, is go as slow as you can, make a swing as fast as you can without falling over, split the difference. That is a great way because hitting fairways, keeping the ball in play is honestly, it sounds so simple, but we forget about it. It's the route to lower scores. So first tip, fairway finder. Find that fairway. Right, let's jump down the fairway. Now this video isn't about you playing your best golf and showing you how to do that. What it is is about helping you get your best score. So getting out of situations like this, the next shot, number two on our list, is hitting a punch shot from the trees. This is exactly all you need to know. Always stay on the side of caution and go with a lower lofted club. I've got six iron here, I'm around about 145, 150 yards, but I've gone lower loft, point one. Next up, I'm gonna grip down, so I'm gonna even put my right hand almost all the way down towards where the shaft is. I'm gonna move the ball back in my stance, so I'm sort of a club head inside my right foot, keep my weight on my left side. All I'm trying to do is make a backswing, keeping my weight on my left through, and I focus on creating a low follow through. This really helps me deliver low loft and hit down. And that's all the recipe is to hitting it lower. Let's see if we can get it on the green. Woo -hoo. We are dancing. Let's head up and play the next shot. Next on our list is, well, by the way, actually, before that, how good is that shot? I'm absolutely over the moon. Um, hopefully I can do something like that in the comp that I'm playing on the 30th. But, holding out short putts, those must make ones. So round about this length. Knee knocker. My advice for you here is, really nice and simple, don't move your head. I want you to wait until you hear that ball hit the bottom of the cup. I think far too often, like, we're looking for it too early. So nice and simple, line yourself up, use your line if you do that, and rock, rock it through, and wait for that noise. That is what we've got to wait for. Simple, easy, saving your shots. Okay, let's just jump back into the fairway. Next up, pitching. Now, this is the area where the pros are absolutely mustered. Dead easy, two pitching positions. What I want you to master at the range is half shot, arm parallel to the ground, smooth it through. And then the next one would be sort of hands to shoulder, hit it through. Okay, so this for me here is about a hands to shoulder with my 54, about 64 yards away. We've got a green cam, so you'll see this ball, hopefully with a bit of juice on it, landing and stopping. Here we go. Let's get it dancing. Simmer. Looks a little long, but we're on the green. Final tip coming your way. Now, I told you this one would be a good one. Playing out a thick rough, there is some compensations you need to make. First thing I'd always say is take your punishment. Anytime you hit it in a situation like this, I mean, have a look at this light, awful, just get the ball back in play. Because if you don't, you're quite easily running up a snowman and maybe a little bit more like Ricky Fowler recently. I know he hit it in the water, but he still only ran up a 10. Right, so nice and simple. First thing I'd think about is taking the most lofted club in your bag, gripping down, and also aiming a little bit right. What you've got to anticipate is that this long grass is going to turn that head down and hit that ball left. That's why it's so important to have loft in your hand because when this club face closes, it takes loft off. So effectively, like my 58 here could even be like a 9-9 when I'm hitting it. So wide stance, steep, dig down on it and anticipate it's going to come out left. Ah, tell you what, I'm absolutely over the moon with that. I'll show you, and finish the video up by the green. Tell you what, it's it blooming closer out the rough than in the fairway before. 
Guys, thanks so much for watching today's video. Don't forget, if you are enjoying them, do subscribe. I'm here to help you play your best golf this summer.